Hello everyone, you are welcome to the 11th episode of the Quick Civil Series um, for beginners. In this episode, I will be showing you how you can model a stair in Quick Civil Series and how you can design it, okay? So um, let's just um, get started. Um, to do that, I am already in a, you know, in a new page. You can see I have my home tab. I'm in my home tab, all right? So I'm just going to sketch part. All right, but before you go to sketch part, you can come to view, okay, and then you change the active view to sketch part view, okay, so that you can be in the sketch part view. And one more thing you can do is if um your show or hide, yeah, if you have um your auto mode to be checked, make sure you uncheck it because if your auto mode is checked, you will not be able to draw anything in a diagonal shape, okay. Everything you draw will just have to be perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. I know if you work with AutoCAD, you know what auto mode is, okay? So make sure this is off and then you can then come to your sketch part. Now in your sketch part, you see um, sketch staircase, okay? So just click on um, sketch staircase. So sketch staircase, then uh, let me sketch it up to this position, all right? So you can see my sketch is as coming from. And then when you click on it, okay, you can try to edit some parts. So first thing you can do is here that you have your setup, you can change this to true. The purpose of changing this to true is that you are the one, like you are you are making a change, okay? So whenever you want to make a change, make sure um, this is set to true, okay? So, and then every changes that I make here will be reflecting, all right? So um, what are the things you can change here, the angle, this is um kind of i so the horizontal length you can change the horizontal length let's say something around um you know um 3000 okay the span of staircase is um 3000 the vertical length okay let that be um 3000 okay or let's say 3150 okay because it will be connecting um two stories is a you know uh -huh. Then the waist of stair, let that be 150. And then the width, let that be 1,250. That's the width of the stair. Okay, then now we can fix the riser. So height of riser, my riser, I want my riser to be 150. Okay. You can see this is changing. And then my number of steps, let that be 20. Okay. Now that will be 21. 21. Okay. And then um, the width of the tread, let that be 275, okay? So this is how my stair looks like. And then um, if you wish to, you know, change the direction, let's say you can see this is left below. So if you want to change it to left stop, you see how it goes, okay? It has gone up. Um, right stop, you see that. And then um, right below, you see that. So let's put it back in left below as it was. You can see how that is showing so i'll change it back to left below okay so other things you can change is the you know the density of your concrete the loading factor you understand all the loads that needs to be applied the self weight is it the self weight is i know it will be calculated automatically so this is changing as you were uh, fixing every other thing here um so um, you will see your deflection check. Let's, I want to check my deflection check. You can see my deflection check says that it is not okay. Okay. This is not okay. So it is self-designing. So as you are going, you will see everything that is happening here. Okay. So uh, my anchorage is 110. My ES minimum is 195. Everything here is, you know, is getting calculated. So um, since my deflection is not fine, I will have to change the waist. I will increase the waist. So let's try to increase the waist. Um, okay, this is the waist. So let's take it to 175. Okay. And let's see the deflection. Deflection is still not okay. So, okay. You know, that's a very long step. So I will change the waist to, let me change it to 200. That is on the high side, but I just want to achieve, still not okay, okay? So what I'll just do is I'll reduce the span, okay? I'll just reduce the span. 
so um now let me go ahead and reduce the number of um in order to reduce the span i'll just you know reduce the number of steps let me increase this to um let's say 10. okay so something like this the span is now is now less okay so if you check your deflection now you see that your check is okay your deflection is what okay so this is how you just go about so the moment you sketch it here it is self-designing it will this it will design itself like that and then you can see your bottom reinforcement you can see it's 12 mm at a spacing of 300 you can see your other side 12 mm at a spacing of 300 okay so you will be the one to detail it it will not detail it for you but it will give you all information that you need okay so this is what you need your you need your diameter and the spacing it has um provided that okay you can see your area of steel required at the bottom and the area of steel required at the you know at the bottom in the other side so this is what is provided all your design results will be here you can see the moment this is the moment all right so the design load this design load everything that needs to be here will be here but if you still want to check your calculation reports you can check it properly so just close this all right and then you can come to prepare or print so i will just um go to my calculation sheets directly and then i will say prepare reinforced concrete design calculation of course you know a staircase is a reinforced concrete we still have steel you know i told you we have steel when we talk about truss majorly so i'll click on this and if there's anything you want to change here just go ahead and change it but i'll just prepare the calculation sheet directly like that so this is um how the calculation sheet is you can see the basic design information the imposed load finishes everything okay you can see it there so that is one way of designing your stair i'll be showing you another way of designing your stair in another episode so watch out for the next episode